very few vehicles are spacious, luxurious, and fully off-road capable. This is one of them, and not only that, it's fully electric. This is the 2023 Rivian R1S. Let's take it for a drive today. It's time for Family Wheels. To state the perfectly obvious, a Rivian is for rich people, but there's more to it than that. There's a class of wealthy people, I'll guess they're under age 45 or so, who spend their riches differently than previous generations. Their expensive clothes are casual or even athletic, not the bespoke suits of their parents and especially grandparents. And they love the outdoors to get away from intense weeks of sitting at computer screens or running microbreweries or whatever they're doing to amass a tidy pile of cash. One example, a Rivian employee told me a buyer had a Tesla for daily use and a four-wheel drive for off-road weekends. Now he's down to one vehicle that does both jobs. And to that point, the R1S SUV and R1T truck are real deal off-roaders. The air suspension can create 15 inches, 38 centimeters of ground clearance. There are five modes just for off-road use, all-terrain, rock crawl, rally, sand, and drift. And there are five other modes, all-purpose, conserve, which switches the vehicle to front-wheel drive to maximize EV range, sport, snow, and towing. Speaking of towing, Rivian says the R1S can haul up to 7,000 pounds, nearly 3,200 kilograms, while the R1T can handle 11,000 pounds or 5,000 kilograms. As with all EVs, however, towing drastically reduces range. This EV has what can only be described as a very large battery. And yet, Rivian plans one larger, 180, also one smaller, 105. But for now, we have the 135 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now, how do we get power to the ground? Well, there are two ways. One is dual motor drive, one for the front, one for the rear. However, on this specification, we have quad motor drive, which just absolutely amazes me. And oh my, does it provide a lot of power. I'm not going to try and demonstrate that here, but we're going to just get up to uh, this road speed of 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles an hour from about 40k. And there we are. It's mind bending. Maximum range with the 135 kilowatt hour battery is estimated at 528 kilometers or 328 miles. Handy for people driving away from a city and heading into the back country. Recharging could be a challenge in some situations, however. The Rivian can accept up to 220 kilowatts from a DC fast charger, indicating a 10 to 80 percent time of 45 minutes. But there are relatively few stations able to deliver that output. The fast chargers I see most often supply just 50 kilowatts. On a 7.7 .7 kilowatt, 32 amp home charger like I have, the math for a 100% charge works out to 18 hours. Rivian's plan is to have 600 brand exclusive sites with more than 3,500 chargers, but the current total is 118 DC fast chargers at 20 sites and 215 level 2 chargers at 94 sites. SUV or truck, the Rivian is an unmistakable design. The styling has succeeded in immediately identifying this nearly new brand as those vertical headlights and horizontal light stripe come at you. Not a lot can be done along the sides of a three-row box, but the chrome bar across the top of the windows helps, as does the black roof. And the rear, with its wraparound brake lights, helps unify the look. The interior designers have done just a great job with the Rivian. The seat pattern, all the little details on the in the interior are, are are simply lovely. I really like this open pore uh, wood treatment here. You can actually feel the roughness in it. That's a trend in recent years. I've experienced that on a Rolls Royce, but this is designed to be an off-road vehicle as well as around town, and I think it fulfills uh, that image very nicely. Perhaps taking its cue from Tesla, everything in the center controls is virtual. It's all, it's all soft buttons. There are no hard buttons here for anything. And I find that a bit of an irritation when you have to 
dig down through menus to get to something that is fairly basic. I will give Rivian credit. We do have one of the most fiddled with functions down here, and that is climate. And I can make the temperature go up or down without opening a menu. But beyond that, if I want to change the fan speed, I have to press the little fan icon and then adjust it here. Best to just leave the whole thing in automatic for your heating and cooling needs. The sound system is excellent. It's by Meridian. Why shouldn't it be excellent at this price? However, no Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto. There is Bluetooth if you want to bring in a phone. Also, as far as devices go, we have a wireless charging pad here. The Rivian's party trick is, well, for parties. A Bluetooth speaker hides out of the console, charging there until it's time for tunes in the woods or at the shore. The speaker also has a lantern in its base, plus a USB charging port. Just add a campfire and marshmallows. There's plenty of passenger room in the Rivian. In the second row behind me, a rear-facing child seat, the kind that takes up the most space. Up front, I've got maybe a couple of inches between my knees and the dashboard. You notice I didn't say glove box door. There is no glove box. For the driver and the passenger, each one gets a small bin under the seat. Additionally, there's the customary covered bin in the center console. Note the phone storage slot where I've put the carabiner style key. Because the vehicle is electric, there's no drive shaft bump, allowing for a generous center bin on the floor. There's also storage in the front doors like every other vehicle, but in this case, the side panels pull out. In the third row, there are bins in the armrests. The second row is typical, storage in the doors, map pockets in the back of the front seats, and a small covered bin in the center armrest. The Rivian's front trunk, or frunk, is large. It has two levels with a divider, a drain plug so it can be rinsed out, and power open and close for the hood. The luxury continues in the second row of the Rivian. We have a bench seat back here, so at least nominally the vehicle is a seven-passenger SUV. These seats adjust fore and aft, as well as for rake. When it comes to creature comfort, we have heated rear seats and a full set of HVAC controls over here, plus two USB-C ports. There's a gigantic moonroof covering the first two rows. Does not open for the first row, it's just one big piece of glass. And Rivian says that it will prevent your vehicle from getting too hot in the sun, even though there is no sunshade. And it doesn't stop there. There's a separate moonroof for the third row. The Rivian R1S is an impressive piece of design and execution for a company so young. I hope they do well. What do you think? Leave a comment. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, and thanks for subscribing. I'm Richard Detman, and I'll see you next time on Family Wheels.